Johan's obviously somebody who knows Alan, um, wants to play, not getting enough game time at Paris Saint-Germain for him. Got the Euros next year, wants to play in that desperately. 38 caps, I think, National Cup of France. For Palace, again, it's just another moment of truth. It's just another marker down. We mean business in this league. This is a fabulous player, by the way, for those people who haven't really seen him. Anyone who was at Sellers Park when Newcastle beat us, 3-0, was it? Yeah. Get near him. Get near him all afternoon. Um, so it's unbelievably exciting. I think it's the biggest signing from a transfer money point of view we've ever made. It's the biggest signing from a personality point of view. I mean, you might put Attilio there in that category. Um, the only other player that we've probably had that's in the same quality level would be Ian Wright. So it's Ian Wright, Attilio and Johan. So it's just a fantastic moment for the club. I've got to pinch myself. You know, I never imagined, to be honest, that Johan Gabay would come, would come to a Crystal Palace. But that's how far we've come in such a short space of time. And I think the fans are going to absolutely love this lad, you know. I think whether he plays in the hole or whether he plays in the four role, in front of the back four, I think he can do both of them. You know, he can do all of it. Uh, technically very good, very strong. Alan knows all about him, which is fantastic. And a great, you know, Alan did a fantastic job because obviously Alan knows the player and he trusts him and the player trusts him, Alan trusts the player, you know. So. There's no bad news about it here. You know, let's just, fingers crossed, it, you know, it goes well for him.